Alright, so before we begin, this tutorial assumes that you've already set up Norbyte's Collada tool in Blender 3.6. Um, I just want you to double check in your add-ons preferences that you have your Divine EXE set up. In order to do that, you open the little folder icon, navigate to uh, wherever you saved your LS lib, and then you're going to find Divine EXE in the Tools folder. So once that path is set up, uh, make sure that Convert to GR2 by default is checked. Um, this just saves us a step because then the plugin will automatically convert our DAE file into a GR2 file. Prerequisite number two, um, this tutorial also assumes that you have extracted all of your data using the Baldur's Gate 3 multi-tool. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm going to link to an excellent tutorial by Padme4000 on how to use this. So, first of all, what I do is I just delete the three things that Blender puts in uh, whenever you create a new file. I'm going to go to File, Import, Baldur's Gate 3 Collada Tool. You're going to navigate to wherever you saved your unpacked data. For this tutorial, I'm just going to do a random head. We'll just do elf head G. Select and then import. All right, so you're going to notice that the ears are missing. Uh, to make them show up, I shift click, select all of them, hit G, which is the shortcut for the move tool, and then left click to place them. Um, the first thing that I do is I assign my ears to the vertex group head M. Uh, in order to do this, I hit add vertex group and you're going to want to make sure that head underscore M is spelled exactly like this, um, with the correct, uh, capitalization. Otherwise it's not going to work in the game. In order to assign the vertex group, I hit tab, which brings up edit mode, hit A to select all, and then hit assign. And then I just hit select and deselect to make sure that works. Uh, I'm also going to have to add a armature modifier. Um, so to do that, you go into modifiers, add modifier, armature. Uh, under object, just hit um, the armature object. By default, it won't give this a name, but if you're working with multiple heads, I highly suggest that you rename this. We'll just call this elf f head for simplicity's sake. Um, that way when you're adding your armature, you can make sure that that is correct. And now I'm going to repeat this step for all of the ear lods. And I'm also going to do the same with the vertex group. Okay, next step. I want to parent all of my ears to the elf F head armature. So in order to do that, I'm going to shift click and select all of my ears, control click elf head F, and then hit control P, and then set parent to object keep transform. Next, what I like to do is hit Control A, apply all transforms. What that does is it just makes sure that Blender applies all of your transformations so that the um, ears, ears or anything else doesn't end up in an awkward place in the game. So just to make it like super obvious that this is an edited head, I'm going to go into sculpt mode and then do something silly. Uh, we're going to give her a pointy nose. 
I'm just gonna give her like a really pointy nose. Okay, cool, awesome. Now that you have edited your head, you're gonna unhide all of this stuff. Make sure to unhide the armature as well. Uh, select hierarchy. In order to export, we go to File, Export, BG3 Colada, navigate to wherever you'd like to save your head. And we're just gonna call this Dexa Tutorial Head dot gr2. Make sure you specify the file extension just so that the plugin knows the file type that it's exporting. Um, for the presets, what I like to use is just the default, but I, but I also check selected only. Uh, this is because if I'm working with multiple heads um, and for whatever reason I have a ton of different objects in here, I only want the ones that I selected to be exported. Uh, that's, that's just my personal preferences. And if your export is successful, you will see a little notification here that says export completed successfully. Okay, now we're going to test to see if our head works. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to replace Elf Head 4. So in order to do that, I'm going to copy and paste my exported GR2 into the BG3 loose files and then rename it to the head file that I want to replace. Uh, you can pause the video to double check the directory because that's what you're going to need to follow for testing for loose files. Okay, let's see if that worked. And it looks like our pointy-nosed elf is here. <laughs> awesome. Alright, I hope this helps you out. I'm going to be linking other relevant tutorials in the description below, as well as other tools and programs that I used. Um, if you like this video, you can check me out on Twitter or Tumblr, because I might be creating more advanced head editing tutorials in the future.